A netherworld crisis of extinction-level proportions was perpetrated by the Demon Emperor, Void Dark. The historians of later generations look back in puzzlement at this historical event, the largest netherworld war, which erupted and expanded in a flash, and ended in just one night. Some call it the war with no victor, while others call it the war with no hero. The truth of this event remains a mystery to this day. It's reckless of you to invade the territory of the Lost. I don't know which netherworld you're from, but we're gonna put you in your place. Madam Seraphina, at this rate they're gonna annihilate us, dude! What did you just say? I will not abide being annihilated. One sardine for 20 hours of labor. That was our agreement. Now, put your backs into it. Your soft, squishy backs. One sardine to fight a merciless battle isn't a fair trade, dude! First of all, it's impossible for us to defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark on our own, dude! Hmm. Though it's against my upbringing to sully my own hands, this once I shall unleash my overload power, Baylor Gaze! Excuse me, you right there. What do you think you're doing? Uh, eating, obviously. It's a fluffy rising dragon bowl with all white breast meat from a thousand year old dragon lord and its egg. It's delicious. All right then, I'm finished refueling. Let me get rid of these guys. You destroyed an entire squad of the Lost Army single-handedly. I found my prince. Episode 1, Prelude to Vengeance. Excuse me, please wait. My goodness, please wait, Sir Kilia. Do you have any idea how much walking I had to do to catch up with you? 
I spent one whole hour walking non-stop through the desolate netherworld that is Blood Parch. At this rate, my legs will be as rock hard as a foolish gorgon who was petrified by a cockatrice. Well, Madame Serafina didn't actually take a single step herself, dude. I will have silence. If you want to rest, take all the time you want. I'm leaving. How cruel, Sir Kilia. Surely you mustn't be planning to leave me here all alone. You decided on your own to follow me. You are incorrect. Sir Kilia, you decided on your own to save me from the lost. Now you must take responsibility for that decision. That's unreasonable. I'm out of here. <laughs> Why? See? You can't even dodge a simple attack. You must be exhausted, Sir Kilia. If you keep pushing yourself like this, you will never defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark. In fact, you're liable to become roadkill. This gate connects to a pocket netherworld set aside for my exclusive use. Now, Prinnies, please be Sir Killia's escort. <laughs> All men are destined to dance in the palm of the hand of the Overlord of Gorgeous, Seraphina. <laughs> Where'd you like to go, dude? Are you finding my pocket netherworld comfortable enough, Sir Kilia? How do you like it? I don't have any time to waste in a place like this. Mom, I can't believe what I'm hearing from someone who eats in the middle of a battle. That was... it's like... Haven't you ever heard that an army marches on its stomach? <laughs> You're more of a gourmand than you project, Sir Kilia. Well, as long as you're strong, it matters not to me. You could say that this pocket netherworld is Sir Kilia's in my love nest. Please, feel free to use anything here. Just so you know, I have no intentions of asking anyone for help. That is simply not possible. You see, Sir Kilia, you and I are connected by the red string of fate. It's more like a bloodstained leash than a red string of fate, dude! You are mine, Sir Kilia. Please, do not resist. And what if I do? <laughs> All men are destined to become my obedient servants! Ha! Now, Kilia, follow my orders. I refuse. Huh? That 
sort. <laughs> now you will find me irresistible. Even if you are an overlord, you cannot resist the temptation of my overload powered failure gaze. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Nothing, Sir Kilia. According to the information the Prinnies gathered, there are lost army forces in Blood Parch. Let's get going. 